hello everyone welcome to unify study in this video we are going to discuss about very important topic that is subset and superset problem so what is subset and superset in toc that's why i'm showing you the question as you all know nowadays we are learning in this way first see the question try to solve the question if you are able to solve i will show you three question if you are able to solve this three question then no need to watch the remaining recording if you are not able to solve the question then definitely you have to watch the recording complete so that your concept will be clear of this question so this is the first question question number one this is the question number two you can see pause the video try to solve the question and this is the question number three so these are the types of question what are asking from the regular expression which one is subset and which one is superset okay so definitely if you are new to this channel then subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification time to time and here this is the telegram channel must join our telegram channel so that you can get all the notification from here i am taking the free classes also live classes also so you will get all the notification here this is the two telegram channel unify study paper one and this is unify study computer science now come to the point and this was the homework for the last class because the toc free series is going on the homework is there so i have given a homework in our last class so the homework was that set of all strings starting with a and ending with b so this will be the answer and set of all strings starting and ending with a so this is the answer so now come to the question through the question only you will understand the concept how to understand the subset and superset so here this is the r s and t three languages are there means three regular expressions are there now from this regular expression how to do there are the option how i can solve the option see that here always try to ask yourself that what is the minimum string what is the minimum string you can generate with this regular expression minimum string minimum string means what you can see from here first of all check that it is 1a then after that b plus a star so from this 1a it is confirmed that only 1a is must this is the must a should be must after that this is my minimum string means my minimum string of this the a because here the star is there as the star is there that's why this can be lambda means it can we cannot take also zero occurrence of this string so that's why minimum string is here a after that all possible can be there that after a you can take any combination of a or b and you can repeat it because of this star right means it can be like that a it can be a b it can be a a it can be a a b it can be a b a b like that and so on now next one next one what is the minimum number of string here try to understand here 1a is mandatory that is 1a after that you can see this is the plus this is the plus here what is the meaning of plus plus means at least one time you have to take plus means lambda or epsilon is not allowed means at least one occurrence you have to take zero occurrence is not allowed right so that's why here is actually a or b plus means either a or b you have to take at least one time means what is the minimum string here a a or another can be a b so either a a or a b this is the minimum string here means here the minimum string length is one at least one a should be here the minimum string is a a can be a b can be after that it can be more number of a's also it can be one a after that more number of b's also it can be a a b also right now next one come to the next one in this next question here it is given a and b means starting with a and ending with b now what is inside inside that there is the star a star means you can take a 
or it you cannot take a also right means what is the minimum string here also the minimum string is a b but inside that anything can come means any number of a can come means it can be a a b it can be a a a a b means inside that multiple time a can come or you cannot take also that's why minimum can be a b a b is also possible right starting with a ending with b now i think it is you can do it here also i will suggest you pause the video try to understand can you solve the question or not please try to understand and pause the video can you solve the question or not then i will come to the answer again okay is it fine okay so now see that what we have done so now i am going to the answer so this is we have done our answer is that is r s t how the answer is coming how it is coming because from here we see that minimum string is a from here we have done that minimum string is either a a or a b and here the minimum string is starting with a ending with b but see that here a b was possible but a a was not possible right means it is very clear that whatever you are taking here this is already accepted you can accept here ab also and after that whatever you are accepting here this is also accepted here whatever you are accepting multiple lifetime of ab that is also accepting here but this is the extra thing that is accepted by x it is not accepted by t means we can write that actually what is s s equals to t plus something more what is you are accepting what are the string we can accept in the t that is already accepted by s but it is accepting more right means definitely s is greater than t means s is the superset of t right s is the superset of t now see that come to the r what is the relation of that r now see that here in the r it was the minimum string a but here we cannot accept a or here also we cannot accept a means this is accepted only by r but here you can accept a a that is also accepted by this one here a b this is also accepted by this one and here you are accepting here also that is a a b that is also accepted multiple times a a a b that is also accepted means we can say that r is that we can write that r equals to r is actually means it is small r small r is actually s plus something more right it is s plus something more that is a was accepted plus these are the extra means easily you can find out if i can change the color so this was all the string we are accepting by t so it is the t part this is the t part plus the extra right and here we are accepting here we are accepting all this part this all the part is accepted by s this is already we can accept by r also plus extra means we can clearly see that r is the superset r is the superset of s and s is the superset of t so that's why your answer will be this that l r is the superset after that l s after that l t i hope now this is clear right now try to do the next question without watching answer pause the video and try to solve this question i hope now you will be able to solve the question right because now it is more easy for you please pause the video i hope you have done and now you can watch the recording or now you can see the answer what is the answer here first of all i am showing you the answer so the answer is l1 equals to l2 is it correct you have done this correctly if you have done this correctly then congratulations you have 
than it and ultimately your concept is clear if it is not clear then i am telling the reason say that what is there a star b after that whole star and here was a plus b after that whole star in our last video i told that whenever there is the star then it is always that whatever you are taking that can be the zero occurrence zero occurrence means it can be lambda or epsilon accepted right means here also lambda is accepted and here also lambda is accepted right after that it is a star means any occurrence of a or b means b any occurrence of b means it is the combination of a or b is it or not and this is also it is the combination of a or b right here also whatever accepted by the string here also same thing you are accepting right it can be a a it can be a b it can be so on here also it can be a a here also it can be a b no problem here so that's why here l1 and l2 equals now go to the third question again pause the video try to do it i will show you the answer after that if it is correct then there is a like for you and if we, anyhow you are not able to understand then definitely was the third explanation and after that it will be total clear okay so the answer is this this is the answer now why this is the answer see that what it is telling same question like the first one here the l is a means minimum string is here only a here it is starting with a ending with b inside that i can take a or i cannot take a means multiple occurrence zero occurrence also there or not and t is here what is the minimum string here here it is a star b means it is ending with b before that i can take a or i cannot take a okay so this is at least one string that is starting with a means if we are writing what is r r is starting with a right and a c is starting with a and ending with b right and t is ending with b now i hope this is more clear to you now here it is telling that l s so what was s s is starting with a and ending with b is the subset of l r l r is telling starting with a okay means yes a starting with a it can be a b and it is also it can be a b after that it can be in the a r you can accept a a a also but that is not accepted here but whatever i am accepting here that is starting with a and ending with b and inside that any combination of a b that is already accepted by r right so definitely we can say that yes s is the subset of r means s is less than r remember like this way then you will never forward subset superset right and here it is telling l s is the subset of l t means is s is less than t yes you can see the s s was the starting with a and ending with b right and t is only ending with b right so that is also correct starting with a and ending with b that is the subset yes it is the subset so that is also we can write here the starting with a and ending with b and t is telling only ending with b so t can accept extra b here that is not accepted by s but t can accept ab also and after that any combination of that is also accepted so t is accepting extra b that is not accepted by s so definitely t is s plus something more so that's why t is greater than and that's why t is the superset of s so that is correct here it is telling 
R is the subset of S. See that. R is the subset of S. Here starting with A. R is starting with A. Right. And S is starting and ending with B. Right. Is it correct? And here it is telling L S is subset of T. L S is subset of T. What is in the S? S is starting with A, ending with B. And T is ending with B. Right. So here come to this explanation. What we are accepting here. Here this is accepted by A, A, B, A, B, A, B like that. And B next one is accepting this. And this one A star B is accepting this. So that's why this one we can say that is correct. But this one is wrong. Because here we can see from the 3 and 4 that is LS is the subset of LR. Right. LS is the subset of LR. But here, here we cannot here also we can say the LS is the proper subset of LT. So the elements are not given and can be we cannot say right so i think now this is clear to you now it is very clear from all the three question you have done here we have done this all the three question and after that there will be no confusion in the subset and superset and if you like this video then definitely share this video to all of your friend and subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all the latest notification and update stay tuned with this channel, I will complete the TOC recording. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.